When you first get your Librem Pure Boot Bundle, you'll receive a Librem Key and a Librem Vault. The Librem Key is used to check for tampering. It can also be used to access encrypted data or sign email. It contains private keys that only exist on the Librem Key itself. The Librem Vault contains a copy of your factory created public key. Pure Boot also contains the same public key by default. Go ahead and plug in the Librem Key and power on the computer. Peerboot uses HOTP, which is similar to something you may have run into called TOTP, which acts as a second authentication method where the user is asked for a six-digit code that changes every 30 seconds. Peerboot stores the shared secret in the trusted platform module. When you power on the laptop, it sends measurements of everything that's executing to the TPM. If all the measurements match the known good value, the TPM releases the shared secret to Peerboot. Peerboot then uses the HOTP algorithm to convert the secret plus an increment encounter into a six-digit code. It sends this code to the Librem key for evaluation. On the Librem key, it uses the same shared secret and an incrementing counter to generate its own six-digit code. If the codes from the key in the laptop match, you'll see a slow green LED blinking on the Librem key. Otherwise, it'll blink red. With the Librem key blinking green in this manner, we know that Pureboot itself can be trusted. If it blinks red, on-screen menus in the BIOS may have been tampered with. Once at the main menu, selecting the default boot option should be enough to start the system. At this point, public keys on the Librem key are used to verify the files in slash boot have not changed from the last known good state. You may, however, see an error at this stage. Note that this error indicates that a file in slash boot has changed. This is something a kernel-level rootkit would do to an infected system. However, it is also done legitimately when updates modify slash boot. This should not be the case if you just received your Librem device. On first boot, you'll be greeted with a welcome dialog. Select your primary language and preferred keyboard layout. Connect to Wi-Fi and select your location services setting. If you can't see any networks, verify that your Wi-Fi hardware kill switch is enabled. Your time zone should automatically be set up if you connect it to Wi-Fi, but you can also manually configure it here too. Go ahead and name your device. You'll be asked to set up an encryption passphrase. Make sure you don't lose this. An online account can be added at this stage, or you can skip that step for now. Enter your local account details and start using PureOS. It's a good idea to run updates first thing. Make sure you're plugged into AC for this step. Move your mouse to the top left hand corner or press the super key. Search for software. Select updates and click the refresh button. Once refreshed, go ahead and restart an update. On this first reboot, we don't expect to see any verification errors. Next, the updates are applied to the system and it reboots again. This time you may see an error telling you that files in slash boot have changed. This was because of the update and it is safe to go ahead and re-sign the boot files. Make sure the Librem key is inserted. Now enter the user pin, which should be 123456. The files in slash boot are now signed and we can verify that they have not been tampered with in the future. Order your Librem device at puri.sm.